Today we're gonna finish our ride on I-79 and get on to 68 in the mountains of West Virginia and Maryland, heading to Grantville, Pennsylvania with 44,000 pounds of cooking here to drop our load and then get to the Mechanicsburg Crete Terminal. So lots of ice and wind on this storm of a generation and yeah, uh, not quite so joyful trucking today, but we hope that you enjoy the ride and hit that subscribe button if you want to keep traveling with us. All right, now buckle up, have something warm to drink, and stay safe out there. Let's go. Wow. That's all salt coming out the back. Oh, and if you want to see how we started out the day and uh, what we did at that gas station, be sure to watch the other two videos. Oh, and give this video a thumbs up, please. Thanks. All right, keep going. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on.
snow plows. This is this not look cleared. <laughs> There's a snow plow over there. Hey, buddy, come over here. Filter itself 
retains more and more of that crap. And when it gets too full, it's not doing its job anymore and other things can go wrong. So what it needs is a regeneration. So we go over to this screen. says diesel particulate filter it's basically telling you the status of it and what it says there is it's approaching full and your parked regeneration is available and you can start the process by pressing this button okay but you have to be stopped because what it does is it ramps up the rpms from normal idle to like over a thousand increasing the temperature in that filter and in the in the dpf chamber so basically burning off the built up soot and contaminants that have collected in there. No texting, no handheld phone. All right, icy roads possible, use caution. Yeah, yeah, definitely possible. <laughs> yeah, we can attest to that. gusts but it's from behind us the wind is out of the west yeah, so now we're happy we have 44,000 pounds yeah it's not gonna knock us over or throw us off course That's good. who's that guy another creep driver hey get home. hey <laughs> what did you say get home Six percent grade next six miles. Uh, I missed the sign that said next ten miles, so we've already done four. That's good. Historic Cumberland Canal Place. Traffic light up here. Pretty. See this in a documentary. We have gone through here. Went through one time. I also think I've seen it in a documentary.
venison snack stick. Can you see it? You're good. You're good. Nobody's you're coming? good. Nobody's coming. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. and where that oversized is parked there were a bunch of cabbages somebody had thrown out wow. yeah we've stayed here we came from the other direction though yes 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 you gotta be kidding i am not kidding you we should go check there's probably a big cabbage patch back there now we stayed here oh yeah cabbage patch dolls. yeah not the cabbage patch dolls yeah. Uh -huh. Turn left. Then turn left. Well, I'm glad we made it here. Thank you so much for joining us on this crazy, crazy ride today. We left Duck, West Virginia at 11 a.m. and got to our delivery in Grantsville, Pennsylvania at 7 p.m. That was 330 miles we did. Some of it really icy with lots of wind and yeah, not so enjoyable. Anyway, we hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please do give us a thumbs up you can put your comments and questions below uh, please do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you want to keep traveling with us and learning about trucking with that we wish you a great day and hope that you did all right during this storm let us know in the comments what your experience was and we'll see you in the next video with love from kevin and tanya merry christmas <laughs>